Space fans, this is Larry Supermouth Huffman, AMA Hall of Fame announcer, and this isn't Supercross, it's Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday! Wednesday. And you're watching Bay Fishing with Roman and Brian. Stand by while the boys teach secrets of bay bass fishing with Roman on his six-second nitro-burning paddle-drive kayak, and Brian in his cool bay tie-speed dragster boat that he takes out every Every Sunday, 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 Sunday. Be there! Well, well, well. Hello there, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to another episode of Fishy Hour. Today, we're doing results for round four of Spotty Bowl, San Diego region. But before we get started with the show, let's bring in the co-host, the man, the myth, the legend himself, reigning Spotty Bowl champ. I think he's a four-time champ. Four-time champ. Let's bring in none other than... Mr. Brian likes to fish. What up, Brian? I think your mic's muted. What? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There. You. What up? Yo. Oh my. <laughs> wait, come on. wait. Can you can you adjust your mic a little bit? You two move it up, uh, move it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it a little bit. Turn it a little bit. Your mic. With the other hand. With the other hand. With the other hand. Yeah, there, oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> so I can't see. Hand. So bright. <laughs> I forgot to put on this. But. <laughs> Rolex. You win the when you win Spotty Bowl. You know. <laughs> yeah. I might put this up. As a prize. Oh, that's awesome. That's hilarious. Alex Norton. What I should do. <laughs> what is up, Roman? So, guys, we got a results show, and it is a close round. I got all the results from the judge last night, this morning, and uh, wow, that's all I got to say. Oh, Hang very tight. Nice. Very cool. Guys, we know normally these, these results shows run a little bit long, so we're going to rush through the beginning and hopefully try to get you guys out of here early, but if not, whatever, you get extra extra fishy hour, okay? Fishy two hours, okay? So, that said, let's start the show off right by first. Checking out who was the first comment of the evening, and that goes to none other than Car- uh, Corey King in the house. Let's go, Corey. Hey, good to see you in here. Corey King, the first comment of the evening. I'm going to give the first like to Mr. Frank Santiago. What up, Frank? Most famous man in us. I need one of those keychains, dude. <laughs> it's body bowl. I need a keychain, yeah, Frank. I, I need one of those stickers for my boat. Frank, I saw <laughs> nice. Frank on the water during Spotty Bowl. What's up, Frank? <laughs> Very cool. Also, shout out to Mr. Aaron. I mean, let's, go, let's just use your real name. Carl Black in the house. What up, Carl? There we go. What's up, Carl? We got Peter 86 in the house. What up, Peter? I got, uh, let's see, we got Arnie. What's up, Arnie? I got Frank. I got Spinning Rod, Rebel Marvin. What's up, Marvin? I haven't seen you in a while. Hope everything is good with you, sir. We got Dale Shaw in the house. There we go. Carl Black. Let's go. Change his name back to Carl Black. Woo. I got, I got <laughs> Leonard. What up, dude? Good to see you in here. I got, hey, I got Creeper Leonard. Got Brian likes to fish in here. We got Aaron Etiquette. What up, Aaron? Welcome to the stream. We got uh, Captain Dan. Let's go. 423, 20, 433, 30. What's going on? 423, 20. <laughs> Supercross was epic this weekend. Oh, yeah. Dude, nice job, Captain Dan. We got Dave Rage in the house. We got uh, Salty Dangler. We got Dog Dude. Drone, three dogs, no drone, and one dude. We got uh, <laughs> we got Oliver ST in the house. What up, Oliver? Good to see you in here. You got Brett Wilson. You got uh, I think that's for everybody. So if you need, oh, we got the judge, the judge himself, the judge. Oh, uh, what's up? All right, cool. All right, so we got um, next order of business. Let's move this show along. We got to do our you know pop top because it's fishy hour. It's kind of like happy hour. Get your drinks ready. And pay attention, because we're about to pop this top. On a scale of 1 to 10, tell me the best pop top you ever heard in your life. Won't be in the worst. Rate <laughs> this pop top. Got a tall can here tonight. I don't know where this came from. Oh. Liquid. You ever heard of that? Yeah. No. I had a cherry one. This, 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 I had a cherry one yeah. earlier. We're talking uh, mango. That's kind oh. of a sweet it's a good. No, no, it's a good one. I had that one before. Sugar free or am I gonna get wild? It's sugar free. No. It's super pretty super good. Sugar free. All right, here we go. So I got I got a hot tip for you guys after this pop top. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> the poor does not count. Cave Dog in the house. What up, Cave Dog? I see Alex Norton in the house. What up, Spotty at best? Good to see you guys in here. Good to see everybody in here. Uh, Dave Rage gives it a 10. Captain Dan gives it a 10. You should, it's a 10 with an asterisk for, for using performance enhancing electronics. Nah. Nah. Boosting. Boosting. That smells good. Was it, no, it, it's tasty, Thanks, dude. Captain, thank you. It's tasty. It's really good. I like that one. I like the watermelon one or the melon one. I like the um, the berry one is good too. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's, well, it's, it's first time good. tasting this. So really I'll taste it here. When you pour, when you Brian, when you pour it though, you you lose all the fizz, man. Dude, I gotta do so much. I'm gonna. I gotta talk here. I can't be drinking fizz. Okay. Dario in the house. What up, Dario? All right, cool. So put your scores in the chat. Let me tell you a quick story. I was buying those those uh, those liquid deaths at, at Sprouts, uh huh. Two for four dollars. That's probably why they're here. Ridiculous. They must have been on sale. Ridiculous. I went. No, it's not on sale. I went to um, uh, what's it called? I don't know. something something. It's like a, it's like a shopping. It's like a anyway. I forgot the store's called Spartan Final. I think. Wait, this is a two dollar drink. Yeah, dude. Dang, but I but, better enjoy it. But at Spartan Final, you can get a twelve pack of those things for. For nine bucks? Okay, that's what I have is the twelve. For ten pack. bucks? I was like, oh, dude, that's that's a ripoff. Yeah, that's bros. Anyway, all right, back on track. On a scale of one to ten, ten being the best pop top you ever had in your life. Ten, ten being the best pop top you ever heard in your life. One being the worst. Rate this pop top. It was frozen or something. What's up, Steve? How are you? Oh, Steve K. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Um, medium T to me all, all the sparkling flavored water is pretty pretty mediocre I haven't had like a really good one yet probably bobbly would be my fave what yep all right guys so uh, Does bubbly murder your thirst? Tonight. i know a lot of you guys are here for the uh, results yeah, we're gonna six. get right step first we got whatever do dario <laughs> dario knows what's up 10.1 <laughs> judge that's right that's a mercy that's right that is that a, something mercy a three <laughs> Yeah, so let's salty give me a three. Is my dude. Damn. Yep. See, I see we're playing man. favorites. I see. Mine's a natural, natural favorites. pop top. None That's of this performance best. enhancing electronics. What's up, Salty? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Spotty Bowl, we got it coming up this weekend. Easter weekend, by the way, guys. You know, Easter weekend this weekend. Just giving you guys a reminder. It kind of snuck up on us. But Easter weekend is also Spotty Bowl weekend up in LAOC, mm -hmm. Alamitos Bay. Or no, I'm sorry. Newport Bay. Ooh, I'm very sorry. Newport Day. So everybody in Vessel has to fish Newport Bay. And that is this weekend, 29th through 31st. Make sure to declare your time. <laughs> Let's see how Newport goes. Let's see how it goes. It should be good. Um, if it's anything that indicates what's going on down here in San Diego, hopefully up there, same thing, which is water is above 65 degrees. So let's get it rolling. I don't know. The rain this weekend. Are we ever going to get a, like a week of no rain? It is nonstop. What is going on? I never, I don't remember any of our spotty bowls over the past four years being yeah. like this. Like, like so much. It, it seems like it's good during the week and then weekend comes and Bam. Mm -hmm. Anybody that fished Spotty Bowl this weekend, Sunday, hats off, buddies. That was a rough go. I was out there on Sunday. Holy mackerel. It was windy. Let's just say that. Uh, Spotty Bowl comes back to San Diego April 12th through 13th. So we get a little bit of break down here in San Diego. Comes back to Mission Lake, my favorite bay. We're going to see what goes on there, Mission Bay. So if you guys got time for a pre-fish, head on over there. Check it out, Mission Bay. It's a place to be, you know. Bam. Hit that like button. Hit that like button on the way in, guys. It helps a lot with the algorithm and gets people that notification if they haven't been notified yet. Uh, Salty Dangler says he was a Sunday guy. Yeah, Sunday was brutal. Okay. Uh, what are you doing this weekend? Mike, uh, Micro Championship Wrestling, April 30th. This guy right here is going to be there. That's right. Micro. Those, those guys don't know what's coming. I was gonna <laughs> <laughs> are you going to get in there? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Sometimes, because I've like, been to this many times, they'll uh, invite somebody to the ring. No and way. I think that, they should all volunteer, uh, like, hold judge's arm up. Let's get the oh, judge. Oh, yeah, get the judge in there. Well, they'll, bring, they'll bring a few people in from the audience and, you know, That's funny. do some shenanigans on you. That's funny. I think we should get, uh, yeah, definitely the judge in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> if I go, I'm going to make sure that happens. I'm going to have to pay somebody off. That's funny. <laughs> so go ahead and make the announcement on that. You're going to that. You're hosting that. Oh, yeah. And the judge. Uh, was it um, March 
30th, this Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Uh, Captain Dan's coming with us. George, his neighbor's coming with us. Um, we got... Zachary Riggs. Zach Riggs. We got Eric. Uh, I'm going. So we got a good mob of people going. If you want to join us, they still have tickets. So I'll reach out to the judge, and he'll tell you how to get those tickets. But it's going to be a blast. It's going to be funny. Uh, Captain Dallas saying he's going to rent a Mini Cooper to drive there. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Captain Dan. <laughs> Roll up in that, huh? Oh so, yeah, check it out. I, I think you can buy tickets at the gate. So if you guys want to go down there, that's just kind of a, one of our club events. It's going to be fun. You can go out there, hang out with a judge. All right, next up, May 18th, we've got Apps and Taps coming up. We've been talking about this for months, mm-hmm. under a month, I guess. Apps and Taps, May 18th, Mission Bay. Um, we got nine spots left. So yep. far, we got Carl, Cal, Salty, Leonard, Corey, me, Brian, R- uh, Roman, Dan, Eric, Eric L., and Eric Klein all going. So we got, what, nine spots left? You got Cal, right? You said Cal? Yeah, definitely got Cal. Awesome. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. Carl's going too. It's going to be good. Um, if you guys want to know, learn, learn uh, if, you're gonna, if you want to get one of those spots, those, spa- those spots include your renewal for CCA for, CCA for the year, uh, your uh, seat at the table, of course. You get drinks. You get pizza, barbecue sushi and wow. uh you get tickets to the raffle without having to buy extra tickets you just include it in your package you get a you get a care package that cca's put together and captain dance put together with some with maybe with some sponsors i don't know maybe uh cool. with some with some nice stuff in there and uh yeah it, you're, you're gonna get a good value plus it's gonna be a blast hanging out with your friends we're gonna have hopefully two table full of people two table full of max and uh it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. That is gonna be fun. Oh, if I'm you want to, if you want to get a ticket before they before they sell out, go to uh, shop.romancaster.com, and you can get your tickets there. Just it'll, it's, it's on the first page. It says apps and taps, uh, CCA apps and taps, aka Captain Dan's birthday. Birthday cake. And birthday okay. cake. Let's go. <laughs> Sold. Uh, I saw you in there, Frank Santiago. Uh, so also we got a uh, also a tournament coming up. The San Diego Anglers Club puts on their Bay Bass Open. That is going to be April six. Uh, hang on for PB shoutouts. I'll show the flyer for that. If you're in- sorry, if you're interested, there's a boat division and a kayak division. Um, spots are still open, so that fills up quick. Um, go to the San Diego Anglers webpage to uh, get the information and sign up with that. I'll show you a flyer on that later. All right, any other announcements, Roman? Are you ready to get on to this? Let's do this. Do these scores. All right, guys. So first up, this is how I'm going to do it. With, as I always do, we're going to side pots, uh, short division, weekend warrior, pro, uh, masters. And then at the end, hang out. We got a really cool PB shout outs followed up with a cut. If you haven't ever heard of cut, if you haven't seen cut or cast yet, we got a cut or cast submitted in. We're all going to vote if it's cut or cast. And we also have at the very end, spotty bowl biggins. If you caught a fish over 15 inches, you automatically being spotty bull biggin so all right let me go to my slideshow here roman and get my screen share going hit it while brian is taking care of that do me a favor while brian is hitting that you hit the like button (laughs) (laughs) let's do it guys i got a joke for you guys okay we're ready ready here's a joke joke for you guys you're gonna say a joke what did the five fingers say to the face slap that like button yeah (laughs) here goes hey Or like, (laughs) (laughs) well, I'm trying to find I'm trying to find the full screen there, Brian. Full screen, there you are. All right, here we go. Spotty bowl side pots. Oh my god. Spotty bowl side pots. San Diego edition, round four. Brought to you by these awesome sponsors. Here we go. That's right. Okay, first up, I always show this picture. You guys are in round four. You should know all this by now. Make sure your mouths are closed. Your bump board is not filthy, and the code is in the picture. There you go. Uh, there's a closed mouth. There's an open mouth. It's very tight. Make sure you don't get that one-inch deduction. Sometimes, in the, especially this round, one inch could be a devastating deduction. So check those mouths. I mean, I, my advice would be to take not one, but two and three pictures of your fish just in case it breathes or something while you're taking the photo. 
Uh, heaviest, have your scale. Uh, we like a scale with a decimal point if possible. It's an advantage to you. So if you can get a scale with a decimal point, that's an advantage. Code in pitcher, whole fish in the pitcher, and uh, scale visible. All right, and we do not submit these side pots for you. The only one that gets submitted for you um, would be the over under, fast lane kayak, and I think that is it. Other than that, if you want to participate in side pots, go into your Discord, click on the side pot submissions. It'll bring up all the side pots. And when you catch that, like say, let's say smallest other, you're going to click on that and submit it in that category. You have to submit it. All right, here we go. First up, I'd like to thank, of course, the judge has been working hard, guys. I'm serious this week. This was a hard week. When we fished San Diego, we got an extra division from L.A., and me and the judge are looking at pictures. I mean, he looks at them if he has questions. Sometimes I help him out. But, guys, please, everybody in chat, thank you, judge, all at once here. The judge is up late. He's having a hard time with this. This is a, this. I mean, it's week after week after week, guys. So we got to thank the judge. If this, if he didn't do the judge it, this would not exist. So thank you, judge. You are the man. He's the kindest person I know. He's the most generous person I know. He's an awesome overall dude. We really appreciate you, judge. Uh, just I, I can't tell you guys. I personally know him very well, and he is a great guy. If you had need any automotive needs, you go over to Ramona Automotive right next to Denny's and Ramona. Talk to the judge. In case you didn't know who he is, bam, I got to show this. Hey, guys. I'm Eric, the owner of Ramona Automotive. Yeah, he is. Hey, guys. Superstar. <laughs> they also got Todd. You need to make it a longer, a longer clip, dude. I don't make the clips. I you just show them. Make a longer clip, Eric. Saying say something about Ramona Automotive. Come by for your for your something. For your tune-up, for an old change, for all of your automotive needs. Uh -huh. We're here to serve. That's right. There you go. Uh, thank you, Todd Burton. Hopefully Todd's in there right now. Mr. Hazmat, Todd Burton makes all of our belts. Uh, he makes fantastic art. Check out ToddBurtonArt.com. Thank you so much, Team. Todd. Uh, he's kind of yeah. the behind-the-scenes guy. These belts that we get, guys, are they don't happen like in an hour. This guy spends tons of time making these. And if you get the privilege of uh, winning one of these, it's something that you're going to hold on to for a lifetime. They are unbelievably well-made, and they are awesome. There's no tournament as belts as nice. I'll tell you that right now. There'll be lots of tournaments. And if you win this trophy, it is something special. All right, next up. Bam, here we go. Let's go on these side pots. $50 longest halibut. We got Alex Norton. Same one? On. Hey, yeah, same. It'll say oh, new if it's new. So cool. Alex Norton's still holding on. Alex, Masters champion, pro champion, world record holder, species champion. He's the man. This guy right here is the man. He's Alex Norton is the man, if you don't know who that is. But there he is. Uh, longest spotty, that would be me from shore, 17.5. That's going to be a tough one to beat, but you never know. So water's heating up. Big ones are starting to come out. We'll see. 17.5. Uh, smallest other, Eric Klein, holding on with his 4.75 perch. That's, what do you think? That's that's. Pretty solid. That's good. Uh, and, and you know what, guys? Roman's reading the chat, too. So if you guys ever have any questions about Spotty Bowl or anything about fishing, this is uh, – it seems like we all we do is results show anymore because we have so much Spotty Bowl. But Talk this show is actually we, is about talking about bay fishing and fishing in general. So if you ever have questions, just put them in chat. Dr. Drone wants to know what Alex's record, world record is in. I think it's a black perch. That's right. Black croaker there, the judges, the black croaker. So we went, dog do drilling, a little story about it, is we went on a thing called the Pickle Run where we uh, kayaked from Mission Bay to San Diego Bay. And during that, uh, Alex was fishing somewhere, I think it was out in front of Mission Bay, maybe by the OB Pier, Don't kind of that spots, general bro. water out there. And, uh, yeah, he caught himself on the Pickle Run, the world record. And congrats to him for even knowing that he had caught a world record because that's like a you know you wouldn't think a black croaker you know would be a world you know when you catch that fish you're like you know oh it's a big croaker but knowing that it was a world record congratulations to him uh the weight uh alex are you in here yeah alex is in there he'll, he'll answer hopefully hopefully he knows weight all right 25 dollar longest other this is chad over at hookup lakes 26 inch plus Ooh. Shark. Oh, yeah. the only way he's like choking the shit out of the <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that shark's He's eyeballs about to pop out of his head, dude. <laughs> Chad's got that kung fu grip on that guy. <laughs> no open mouth on that thing. Probably never again. But uh, yeah, it takes a foot, a boot, a fist. 
Whatever it takes. Oh my 26. Gosh. Should have been longer, but maybe the bump board <laughs> looks like it's short. That looks like about a 28 to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. 25 bucks. I think that's going to hold. I don't know. Says somebody gets a Barracuda here soon. That's a pretty good one. Uh, 50 longest spotty. Uh, that'd be me. Brian likes fish. 7.5. I don't know. I think last year the longest was 18 by Salty Dangler. So it's possible. Uh, 7, 7, 17.75 is, you know, out there too. I hope somebody uh, finally catches a, a 19. We haven't had a 19 caught in spotty bowl. I've seen a few 19s here and there on the gram or around the internet, but it'd be nice if somebody catch one of those in spotty bowl. My guess, if anybody's going to do it, it's either going to be Mike Brown or or Brett Wilson. Those two guys seem to get the big ones. Or maybe Alex Norton. I don't know. Uh, $25 smallest spotty. Brand new. Here we go. Dale Shaw. His hand is so enormous you can't even see the thing. Is there a fish in there? <laughs> it looks like it, I guess. Uh, six and a half inch. So, uh, Dale Shaw. What's up, Dale? Team of hookup baits. What did you get that thing on there, Dale? Let me guess. Hookup bait. Dale Shaw, 6.5. That's a new one. So, uh, that maybe. I don't know. We'll see. A $50 heaviest other, Alex Norton, 7.62. That's going to be a hard one to beat unless somebody gets some kind of Mambo Stingray out there. I don't know. We'll see. Good job, Alex. Alex Norton, also long as halibut. He's getting, a lot. He's getting his money worth out of that fish. That's about mm -hmm. a, what, $200 fish there? 27.5. Alex throwing up the Yakuza gang sign. <laughs> Skipping ahead here. There we go. All right, one of my favorite anglers out there, Peter86. Let's go, Peter. Oh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Look at that. This is not new. He did this last week, but this is going to be hard to beat, guys. So you take uh, all five fish have to be using a different sponsor's product. So any of our sponsors, including Akuma, um, use their, have their uh, product in your pitcher, and uh, the biggest bag will win $50 uh, from Ramona Automotive. And by the way, all of these cash well, actually, Prices not, not from, all of them anymore, Brian. Some of them are sponsored now by, by uh, like, HD Bates. And, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, almost all of them, the majority. Almost, almost all of yeah. these. Hundreds of dollars do mm -hmm. donated from Ramona Automotive, a.k.a. Eric the Judge. So. But the judge, Peter, the, the judge does enough with, with, that, with all the time he puts in. It's, a cra it's incredible. But you, too. Uh, uh, we got a uh, Reaper Slow Pitch Submission Fishing Co. Cool Baits, Hookup Baits, and HD Baits going in there. So, Peter, I, I, I'll be surprised. Prize, unless Peter beats that himself. It's hard to go out there and be able to fish five different baits effectively during your tournament hours and get a bag like that. Congratulations, Peter. $50 over and under. Nobody has hit it this week. That is just a random prize the judge comes up with. 50 bucks. If you get a random number that the judge and I know, then you will automatically win this. So right now it is between 59 inches and 60.75. So in between that, on the next round, in San Diego, if somebody hits that, they will automatically win 50 bucks. Hmm. Sponsors like Think Hookup Bait, Submission Fish Co., Cool Baits, Akuma, Reaper Slow Pitch, Fish Labs, Fishy Hour, One Cool Tuna, Tackle Supply, East County Bait and Tackle, HD Baits, Fast Lane, CBN, California Harbor Fishing, and Real Happy. Thank you, everybody, for sponsoring Spotty Bowl. We do appreciate you. Um, getting all of our anglers a bang for their buck, I guess. If, you know, you got a lot of yeah. chances to win stuff in this tournament. It's awesome. Uh, first sponsor, uh, Akuma. I say this every week, but if you win a championship, you get a free Akuma Hakai. I've been fishing this reel for my fourth session right now, and as soon as we have a non-result show, I'm going to do a a uh, review of this reel. I'm really liking it. I'm going to show you the stuff that I do like about it, break it down for you. I'll show you a quick video. If you don't know Dave, Dave works at uh, Akuma, and uh, he's the one that's doing all these videos. The new Hakai low profile bait cast reel features light cast technology. What that is, it's a magnesium frame with extraordinary treatment for corrosion resistance. Extra compact body that only weighs 5.9 ounces. That compact body fits comfortably in your hand for all day casting. There you go. I like that. That, that is a lightweight reel and it's comfortable in my hand. I don't know if it's comfortable in the judge's hand, but <laughs> it's comfortable. The only thing oh. comfortable in the judge's hand is a watermelon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Got the, judge used to, the judge used to be, before Spotty Bowl, the judge would put together bowling tournaments. That's kind of an origin story of the judge. <laughs> well, like what, what, ex except, ex except, ex except he shot them like marbles. Eric, have you ever seen the movie Kingpin? 
I think we should rent the theater out because Judge, I think you would like that movie. It's a bowling movie with Bill oh, Murray. Yeah. Kingpin, awesome. That's but, so yeah, funny. That's a the origin story. Judge, can you please send me a PB <laughs> shout out of you bowling? Everybody wants to see that. Yeah, do do a do a send us a clip of you hitting a strike. That'd be yeah. awesome. <laughs> Video. Thank you, Judge. Yes. You have seen the movie. Yeah, Brett Wilson, it is a good movie. Okay, let's get back <laughs> to this. Longest spotty on a submission fish of coca. We have a winner, Roman. A round of applause for oh, Dino Jig Pow. Yes. 15.5 submission fishing code. Dino's an awesome dude. Part of the Yak Ninjas. Check out Dino's uh, YouTube, too. And sometimes he, he posts his entire Spotty Bowl session. That's channel. awesome. His channel. So you can get some good hints from Dino Jig Jig Pow. But Dino, get in, we'll get you in touch with Muto or Bob Muto. Or you can message Muto on Discord. He'll give you a... Uh, a code, and you can pick out your submission fishing code jigs for this That's week. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you, Muto, also for uh, giving away every single round $25 worth of submission fishing code to the biggest spotty caught on it. Next up, uh, Joey Bassin, who has sponsored a um, – Joey Bassin, he's our crankbait specialist in our club, and he has sponsored a category, giving away one of his custom crankbait rods that he makes. Right now, Daryl Sanders, Super Skiff 760, who will also be on PB Shoutouts tonight, uh, 16.5 holding that, and this is a season-long one. And uh, to participate in this, uh, longest fish, excluding barracuda, caught on a crankbait or hard bait will win a custom glass crankbait rod made by Joey Bassin that could be fished – and this, this is one of those ones where you can fish it on your pre-fish. Uh, you can fish it 24-7, seven days a week. If you go out fishing, just make sure you include the code JB24. So get out there and practice those hard baits and possibility of winning a nice custom rod. Thank you, Joey. Fish Labs, uh, thank you so much, David, for sponsoring Spotty Bowl. Fish Labs, longest spotty caught on any Fish Lab product. Check them out online. Um, a lot of our local tackle shops also carry Fish Lab products. Looks like... Down in SD, Roy's leading this. Let's go. Let's get it, Roy. Still in the tailspin. Good fish. Tailspins. Those will catch some fish. See Billy Little in the house. What up, Billy? Good to see you in here. What else we got in here? We also snuck in here. Let's see. Sammy Prom. D Gomez in the house. What up, D? Good to see you. Uh, I said uh, fish spotty bowl last year, but couldn't this year. Hey, we, we're glad you're here. I hope, you, hope you're having a good time fishing when you, when you can't get out there. D Gomez fished last year, but oh. couldn't fish this year because his, his work schedule changed. You can always jump in anytime. Yeah, no pressure, no pressure. You can rent a, win a single event, or you could That's even uh, just jump in the side pots right now. Right. Ooh, 40 Next people up. forty people watching and 24 likes. What's going on? Hit that like button on the way in, guys, and type in bit into the chat once you've done it. Here we go. Uh, you guys are locally in San Diego probably know this sign. It's uh, located in Lakeside at the corner of – it's on the corner of 67 down there. And uh, East County Bait and Tackle is one of those tackle shops you just go into, and they carry all the good stuff. Uh, very friendly people at the counter, uh, very knowledgeable. <laughs> if you go in there, and if you go into East County, East County Bait and Tackle and say Club, a Mad Max Fishing Club or Spotty Bowl Fishing Club, they will give you an instant discount on your entire order. So just, just, for, just, just real quick. quick video. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we play it. Sorry, go back to the Check beginning. Check out East County Bait. If I was the owner of that Domino's, I would get my door uh decal done with with a hand holding a pizza box right there <laughs> because so it looked like the guy's holding a pizza box <laughs> that'd be awesome Dude, right next right next <laughs> east county bait and tackle there's a, a taco shop yeah and they have 13 rolled tacos for 13 bucks with guacamole and cheese i get all the time <laughs> on my way home it's such a good deal i don't know the name oh of the place gosh. but 13 right. rolled tacos 13 bucks you better maybe it's 12 13 fish 13 fishing. bucks there you go but I'm going right. to give you a quick show. Hit if you it. haven't been to East Bait and Tackle, see what you're missing. Bait and Tackle, located in Lakeside. All, all the good rods, all the reels behind those counters. That wall right there is the best wall right there with the, with the gigantic swim baits right there on the right. Yeah, yep. You bet. You just went right past them. It's a huge shop. I got. I don't really <laughs> want to do this, and I don't want to take ten minutes in there. All your lines. That is a pretty big storage. Large style baits. MC swim baits down there in the bottom. It's like a virtual tour. Live yeah. bait. Man. Come down, say hi to Mike. There's Mike right there. He's the manager. So mm -hmm. go down there, check out East County about bait and tackle that place. 
And if you're if you're a Spotty Bowl participant, you go in there. You Check out East County Beach. Sorry. You ask for the Spotty Bowl uh, tournament discount, and they'll give you Club a discount. discount. Yeah. Depending it's on what discount. products you get, you're getting, the discount varies, but you will get a discount. Uh, they also have donated a hundred fifty dollar gift card um, for Spotty Bowl for the heaviest Spotty cot. And is, I'm leading that at two point eight two. That's going to be a tough one. We'll see. Some of you might beat that one. Next up, Reaper Slow Pitch Jig. Thank you so much also for sponsoring LA and San Diego. Jared, congratulations, Jared. Round of applause. Oh, he there you go. Back to back. Oh, that's cool. Guys, if it's not Jared, it's Cash's son is winning this thing every single time. How many uh, Wait, Reaper Slow Pitch they, Jigs do you guys have in that family now? Are they, uh, is uh, Connor doing the um, 25 bucks each session? Each session and LA and San Diego. That's so awesome. Thank you so much for doing right. that, Connor. But uh, back-to-back winner, Jared, 15 inch. You can see the jig right down there in the picture. Congratulations on Perfect. that. Him and Cash. I've got to have a whole box full of those by now. Uh, one cool tuna. This is vacant still. So mm -hmm. this is a, one of those 24-7 bounties where if you uh, include the code OCT24, um, basically, it's a 24-7 uh, biggest fish caught on their product or receive a $25 gift card from One Cool Tuna. This is every session. If no one catches the bounty, and it is rolling over, so it's at 50 bucks, guys. So 24-7, and this is any fish, not just spotted bay bass, not just calico. So get out there, catch a yellowtail. Catch and he's, a got those, he's got those Bonita. little He's got those new jigs. These are not full-size jigs in the picture. They're little. They're like uh, for like calicos and stuff, so... You catch bass on these things. Yeah, that's the best jigs out there. It's just so hard to, to it's just hard to determine how big they are because they're like machined, so they have the same dimensions as the bigger ones, but they're just smaller, so they kind of look like regular sized jigs. Garrett and Brett Wilson, why haven't you guys gone out to that break wall and chuck this thing and win this cat? I guess Garrett, you're not in it, but Brett Wilson, get out there and chuck this thing along that break wall. You're gonna get bit constantly on that thing. Win some of this, some of these side pots. So just make sure you include the code OCT24247. Mm -hmm. All right. Next. And he also he sells these line labels, which are awesome. If you stick them on your reel, reminds you of what you have on there, what size braid you have on there, 15, 20, 40, 60, whatever. Next up, longest spotting on HD swim bait. Let's we got go. Ralph Rodriguez. Nice. Congratulations. Is that new? Uh, you can see his bait right there. Looks like he might have it on a neck breaker war bait. You can see the uh, the HD swim bait on there, 15.25. So you are a winner, Raphael. We'll put you in touch with HD baits. Contact the judge or HD baits directly. Let them know that you have won. And you have won a combo set of three and four inch HD baits kit. And 24 paddle tails. That's a nice win. Thank you so much for uh, donating those. HD Bates, longest spotty. Longest halibut vacant this week. So $25 every week. Oh. So guys, yep. get a halibut on HD Bait. Don't forget to submit it. And all you need on that one is to include your spotty bowl session code. Uh, welcome, Roy. Good to see you in here. Hope everything is good with you. Roy, I got my third stripe, dude. <laughs> but I'm so beat up. <laughs> I'm so beat up. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you, you look, get earn that by sanding the deck or waxing the trunk? <laughs> <laughs> what, or was it painting the fence? Paint paint the fence and sand oh, okay. the yeah, and go. wax the car, right? That's so funny. <laughs> Just don't forget. Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> if you need any karate, you know, tips, you know, you can always come to me too. <laughs> the, I'll help you out. <laughs> the um the what they, what do they call it? The key yell where he stops Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to know that. Uh, okay, smallest spotty, small spotty caught, smallest spotty caught on a CBN bait will win a $25 pack of rigs and one pack of swim baits. So, Eric the Judge currently leading this. So, this is a, a season long. So, Eric, let's see if you can hold that out. That's a uh, 12 inch bait in his hand, by the way. <laughs> That's uh, like a, hookup that's like a Thank 16 you so inch spotty right there. Been doing, Chad's been doing a lot for Spotty Bowl. He's been sponsoring a second mm -hmm. year in this. Uh, $50 in a hookup bait prize package. To win this, you need to submit at least two pictures. This is Chad's third year, dude. Is it third year? Yeah, because he, he almost beat you the first, that one year, and then he yeah. won last year, right? LA. Yep. And then Alex Martin won Masters last year. And then this is his third year, at least. Yeah. 
All right. Well, thank you, uh, Chad, so much for that. And uh, if you win your division and have two pitchers with uh, hookup baits in those pitchers, you will win a $50 prize back. And that's let me good, give you a hint. That's a lot of baits. Somebody may have won it. This oh, week. let's go. That's so good. Hey, Spotty Bullets. Chad here with Hookup Baits. We are very proud to be in our second year of sponsoring the Spotty Bowl. I love that you guys are out there slaying with the hookup baits. So keep on slaying with the number one bait in Spotty Bowl, the hookup baits. Good luck, guys. Right on, Chad. Thank you so much. <laughs> I went to ask, I went to ask you to say hookup baits. Hookup baits. I should just start saying hub. Everybody knows about hub. Uh, cool baits also. Uh, cool baits sponsors $100 cool baits prize package. 24 7, Danny Martinez, the jet ski slayer Let's out go. there with a 20.25. That's a big sample. Yeah. It's pretty big. Pretty big sand bass. Uh, can be fished 24 7, and it's any waters, anywhere, just long as uh, calico, spotty, or sand bass, and just include CB24. So, if you're like I said, you're out there on your pre fish or anywhere like that, you're going to have to to beat Danny. I don't know. I don't know. He's going to beat that one? Not that's with a, the spotty, it's so unless it's the most amazing spotty ever gotten. <laughs> spotty one. But yeah, that's possible. There's calicos and sand bass that'll yeah. beat that. But that's a good score right there, Danny. Uh, okay, next up, we got longest trifecta. Oh, that's like actually pretty decent. We got yeah, Steve Chum Solo. What's up, Steve? Also going to be on PB Shoutouts tonight. Uh, forty-two point five. That's pretty big bag right there. I think there might be a bigger bag up in LA right now. I'm, I think maybe Jared might have caught like a monster bag up there. But forty-two point five down here in San Diego. Hundred dollars longest trifecta. Um, you catch that during your spotty bowl session, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. So if you get there at 6 a.m., you can fish all the way to 8 p.m. for that one. Just fish it during your tournament regular season. Is that, so is that, is that Steve's last name? Yeah. Catch a Dorian. It sounds yep. like he's a like. It sounds like a like a fishing nickname, you know, like like a catches. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. That's awesome. Uh, so let's see how it holds out. Just remember, if you guys are fishing spotty bowl and you happen to catch a sand bass. Don't forget to take a picture of it in a calico just in case, you know, you never know. This is awesome. Uh, Real Happy also, thank you so much for sponsoring. Longest Spotty, we'll get Yay. a $50 gift card for Real Happy. Jared, leading it at 16.5. And all you have to do is remember the code RH24. And uh, during your Spotty Bowl session, if you have that code in there and you can beat Jared 16.5, it's possible. It's been done. If you can beat that, then uh, you'll get a fifty, and you fifty bucks will probably buy you that sweet sweater right there. That thing's nice. Yeah, I want more of those. Why I didn't buy one at the show? I like the art; it's pretty good. Muto was cracking the whip on me; wouldn't let me leave the booth. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, JD, what up? Good to see you in here. Fifty dollar gift card for longest sand bass. Daniel Jones, here we go. We got a new one. Congratulations, Daniel Jones, going for it. Seventeen point five. Good <laughs> yes. fish. So Daniel Jones getting Jones. There we go. Leading longest sand bass. And I think that is it. It's a side side and a half, yeah. We Very got nice. the main side pot right here. Okay. So oh. if, you guys, if you guys have never been to Fast Lane Kayaks, I bought my kayak there. Did you buy your kayak there? I'm sure you did. Oh uh, yeah. You buy our kayaks there. That place is awesome. You just walk in there. You know when you can go into Costco and it has like that new tire smell in the tire department? <laughs> that has the new kayak smell. Like when you go in there, you're like, ah, oh, this, this smells like a new kayak. <laughs> you go in there. Is that weird? No, you go in there, and they, they've got uh, every Hobie kayak model. I think they actually have some on discount right now. Maybe some last year models in there too. But that right there is Logan. Go say hi to Logan in the store. Tell him you came in from Roman and Brian from Spotty Bull sent you. I don't know, if it's just, but uh, they've got everything: kayak accessories, kayak apparel, sunglasses. But check out Fast Lane. Uh, you know what we need to do? We need to convince Ron to let us borrow that thing. See that hanging from the ceiling? Oh, yeah, the four the four seater. I, when I was in there, I was checking that thing out. It's, it's got huge. Four pedal drives, four seats. And if you look way up front, it's got like a sweet casting platform. I mean, dude, that looks like a fun <laughs> day out there. Ron, Logan, let's borrow that thing for the day. Demo day. <laughs> Demo Come day. On, let's make a sweet <laughs> Roman Castro video on that. Oh, thing. my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> that thing is cool. Pickle run. Hey. Oh, no. Well, actually, yeah. it'll, be, it'll be okay because it's four people pumping. Yeah. Let's see if Phil Lewis borrowed that for the pickle. Oh, run. Load that thing up. Is That'd it inflatable? Awesome. Yeah. It's inflatable? I think that thing's like 17 feet long, maybe. It's huge. No, is, is, is it solid or is it an inflatable? It's inflatable. Oh, cool. Okay. 
I believe so. It looked inflatable to me. That's but, cool. Yeah. Four seater pickle run. Uh, all right, here we go. Winner of the fast lane is drum roll. With 16.5 inches, let's go, Chuck. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's go. Chuck, I told him to watch the show. I hope you're watching it tonight. 16.5 inches won the fast lane kayak center prize package worth $300. It's Dude. a yak attack pack. It's, a, yeah, it's awesome. Yak attack track pack with both. Size tackle trays. Yeah. Tackle trays. So, <laughs> Yak attack net. The Yak attack rod holder mm -hmm. and a fast lane salty crew T-shirt. Sweet Chuck, I knew, I knew you had it in you, Chuck. The Yak attack, <laughs> the Yak attack net that folds on a little. It's got a little hinge on there, so you can use it on your kayak. That's awesome, dude. Very Congratulations, cool. Congratulations, Chuck. That's that a two hundred and ninety-five dollar value. Amazing, amazing. Somebody yeah. message Chuck if he's not on there. He Shout won. out to fast lane and all chuck has to do is walk over to fast lane as early as tomorrow and uh let them know that he's there to pick up his price package for a spotty bowl awesome and uh chuck if you're listening try to take a picture with logan with your stuff and so we can sh so we can show it next week or next time we have a, a results show be awesome there you go and Very with cool. that Roman, i'm gonna exit my screen share and we're gonna wow. get on to our results now wow that's amazing but stay tuned because there's more and there's 41 people watching only 28 likes let's hit that like button guys let's get up to let's let's get the likes up to the to the watchers that'd be fantastic uh who else came in here before who else came in here that didn't notice earlier i got jd hutchins in the house what up jd uh we got uh grizzly angler co right yeah grizzly angler grizzly angler co in the house uh, we still have some of those uh, um, measuring boards that are rollable. Check them out. They're, they're in the shop if you want to check it out. And you're looking to the looking at the um, at the CCA stuff. It's right. It's right in the same. It's right in the same uh, website. There. Sorry, I was trying to type. I was trying to type and talk at the same time. It doesn't work. <laughs> All righty. So. Next order of business is actual results. Results. Yeah. So dun, dun, dun. Well, we got we four categories. We got shore. We got weekend warriors. We got pros and masters. Masters. <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> uh, this weekend the water's heated up so we're gonna you guys are gonna see some big bags come out of this tournament this weekend san diego bay i know you guys love that bay you guys up in la if you're watching you've never fished san diego bay it's amazing you got structure you got deep zones you got you name it you got it san diego bay is and we're so lucky to have that gigantic nice bay over there but if you fish sunday holy smokes you guys props to you guys it was windy you toughed it out oh yeah it was super windy every fish on sunday yeah Super windy. Before right, we get we started, go. though, Ken just walked in. What up, Ken? All right. Good to see you in here. Man, Ken, I don't know what's going on around here, but, <laughs> you know, I usually don't drink, Rowan, but I, I, I walked into a bar with my wife, and the bartender asked, would you like a beer for your wife? I thought, yeah, that seems like a fair trade. <laughs> They're not very good tonight. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But I did buy my, after I went there, I did buy my gift, my wife a gift. You know, I, I just got my wife a refrigerator for her birthday. Can't wait to see her face light up when she opens it. Why? Oh, so, it's so bad you don't even get it, you know, light in the refrigerator. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, oh I know. You, you really want to hear some bad ones, though? Oh, I can't that's, that's I can't bad. appreciate that's this bad. one. What's up, Oliver? Oh, my. I'm running out, you know, but this one time I was at church, you know, hanging out with the judge and these uh, two little old ladies are in the church. One looked over at the other and says, I just let out a silent but deadly fart. What should I do? And the other old lady says, first thing you should do is replace that hearing aid in your, replace that battery in your hearing aid. <laughs> She's like yelling it. <laughs> Thank you. I wish it was, that, was good. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Uh, all right. Real quick side story. I I could, uh, real real quick, joke, real quick side story. In high school, our oh. US lit teacher, Mr. what's his name? Mr. Mr. Smithwick. He had he he had hearing aids and he would always like 
uh, adjust them if you couldn't hear the class. So the whole class would, would lip move and pretend no. to be talking. Uh, and then you turn <laughs> it up. And you keep turning it up. And then somebody would ask him a question. And he'd be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so bad. You sh- high school shenanigans. All right. Shenanigans. Let's get on with this. Uh, shore division. Shore division's <laughs> awesome. I'm so happy with the shore division this year. It keeps growing and growing every year. It's it's It started out two years ago. And uh, it's getting really competitive this year. This uh, It's got a lot of the big slayers. A lot of people are fishing masters and also fishing in the shore division. So props to the shore division getting bigger and bigger. We have 19 people in shore division wow. this year, Roman. So it's a pretty wow. big division. Uh, Alexis, Jeff, Keaton didn't get a fish this weekend. G- get out there. You know, get out there and get some experience in. Uh, okay, for uh, coming in 16th place with 25.25, we got Zach Dog Dude Drone. What's up, Zach? 25 inch egg, two fish, Zach. Not bad. The so 16th place, uh, Zach's gonna be on PB shoutouts by the way tonight. Also coming in 15th with 31.75, we got Jason Russ coming in 14th with 37.5. We got Ricky coming in 13th place with 42.25. We got our youngest spotty bull participant at 12 years old what? we've got brady with his first round coming in 32.25 yeah. let's also go brady nice job shots. what's nice up job, brady? brady keep it up keep fishing dude this, this is awesome keep watching the show brady you're gonna be on later tonight uh coming in 12th place with 43.75 zachary riggs who who started out not being able to catch one fish but now it looks like he's catching a minimum of four fish there congratulations zach you're getting it done 11th place with 58.75, we got Danny Hernandez. 10th place with 60.75, we got Oliver. Oliver, thank you so much for making all those cool videos promoting the show tonight on your oh, gram. Yeah. I do awesome. appreciate that. Those videos are cool. Thank you so much for making those oh, for us. Uh, coming in ninth place, his goal was to catch five fish. That's his goal. And guess what? He just said it at 62.5, Corey King. Corey King, congratulations. Yeah. Ninth place. Let's go, Corey. That's so. His numbers are getting big already. This is shore division I'm talking about. Coming in eighth place with uh, 64.25. We got Derek coming in seventh place with 68.25. We got Lee Gill. All right, I think in in uh, shore division is t- top six is playoff. Am I wrong, Judge? Is top six is top six or top seven? I don't know. Top six, I think it is, is a playoff position. So this is where you want to maintain. Okay, coming in sixth place with 69.5. That's sixth place, Roman. Aaron Incott, man, nice bag. That's That would have won a few rounds this year. 69.5, that's a huge bag. So, okay, top five. Here's the cool thing. <laughs> Alex Norton says, I have sweaty palms. <laughs> that's awesome. Alex Norton, Alex Norton, let me tell you something, Alex. The top five, everybody in shore, top five people have broke the spotty barrier. This has never happened. Never. I think the spotty berry's only been broken a handful of times total. But on this round, the fishing was the fishing was phenomenal this week. Let me tell you guys. The top five people have all broken the spotty barrier. Jesus. And we have a tie for fourth place with Andy Cochran and Chuck. Congratulations at 70 inches even. You guys have tied for fourth place. Congratulations, Chuck. Congratulations, Andy. These guys are this close to winning the shore. You got or masters or pro. They're all they're fishing multiple divisions. But I know one of these two are going to win either this division or another division. These guys are getting it down. So congratulations. Chuck also won the fast lane prize. Congratulations, Chuck. All right, top three. That's cool. Here we go. Big bags coming in. You ready? Top three coming in third place. This guy, he's found his groove. And that is with 71 inches even. Oh, let's go. That is Eric. Judge Layman, Ramona Automotive. Congratulations, Judge. Wow. Third place. Holy <laughs> Eric Klein says he's throwing his kayak away. No. <laughs> <laughs> the shore pounding guys. This is a legit competition this year. These guys are, this, the shore pounders are not messing around. All breaking spotty bears. 71. Eric, congratulations. Oh, that's, a that's a huge bag. Another person that at the beginning of Spotty Bowl, shore division, his goal was to catch five fish. And now he's th- throwing 70 inch bags out there. Come on, dude. That's awesome. You're a master at the shore now, Eric. Congratulations. All right, top two. Here we go. These two guys, always these two guys. <sighs> he's got sweaty palms. I've got sweaty palms, right? <laughs> sweaty palms together. Coming in second place with 71.5, we got Alex Norton. What's up, Alex? Congratulations. Second place. 
Nice job, Alex. 71.5 from shore. Just edged out the judge. Congratulations, Alex Norton, species champion. 71.5? Champion, champion. Oh, yeah, point yeah. five. Point five. All right. Coming in first place. Get my music ready, buddy. Oh, yeah. Coming in first place with my, I'm I'm proud of this bag because this this is an accomplishment for me and it's the biggest bag that has ever been caught from the shore division in San Diego. Coming in with 76 inches oh, even shit. from shore, that is me. Brian likes to fish. Let's go. Dude, that's wild. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Seventy-six from shore. So I found it. <laughs> Alex is like, what the what? hell, dude? <laughs> That's wild. I, Holy I, smokes. I'll be showing that bag later, by the way. It can but, be done, yeah. boys. Let me tell you what. Jeez. These legs are sore, man. I had, to, I had to hustle to get that bag. I knew these guys were going to be swinging hard this weekend, so I went out there and hit it hard. Did I'm you, not uh, messing around anymore. How many guys. miles do you walk? Usually I walk between four and six miles on my spotty bull shore. Yeah. I am cast and go, cast and go, until I find them, and then I stop, yeah. take a breath, and catch them. That's that's freaking awesome, dude. Okay. So... There you go. It's weird making your own announcements. Oh, wow. Well, so. well. Okay, Weekend Warrior Division. We had 13 people participating in this Weekend Warrior Division. It is tight. It is tight here. All right, coming in 13th place with 25 <laughs> inches, we got Chris Cabanella. Coming in 12th place with 33 even, we got Matt Bershaw. Coming in 11th place with 40.75, we got uh, Julian Torres. Coming in 10th place with 48 inches even. We got Isaac coming in ninth place with 48.5. We got Jeff Morton coming in 8th place with 49.5. We got Dan Diaz coming in 7th place with 60.25. We got Andy coming in 6th place with 62 inches even. We got Wreck-It Ralph Rodriguez. Let's go, Ralph. That's a nice score right there, 62 even. Uh, with uh, in top five, here we go. Top five coming in fifth place with 66.25. We got Lars Erickson coming in fourth place. Here we go. Top four weekend warriors, San Diego Bay coming in fourth place. Wow, are you guys really weekend warriors? 66.75. We got Derek Capella. Congratulations, Derek. Fourth place. That is a good score right there. 66.75. All right, here we go. Top three. If you haven't heard your name, I think a few of these guys might be in chat, too. If you haven't heard your name, you're in the top three. Damn. All right, coming in third place with 68.5, we got Bryce Huffman. Let's go, Bryce. Top yeah, three. That's good. Nice job, Bryce. All right, Bryce. All right, two left. These two guys. Coming in second place with 68.75, we got Jim Russo. Congratulations, Jim. That's the best you've done yet, Jim? I think it might be. Wow. Congratulations. Nice cool. bag, 68.75. All right. Here we go. San Diego Bay Weekend Warriors Division. First place. Breaking Spotty Barrier. And I think it's his first place, but I knew this guy because he's a slayer. He fishes a lot. I knew this guy would win it. Congratulations with 70.75. We got David Dalton, Team Hookup Base. Let's go, David. And also, not only that, but he has also won the Hookup Baits prize package, David. Congratulations. You have won the $50 uh, kayak. On your kayak, you have won the $50 Hookup Baits prize package. Oh, yeah. David Dalton breaking the spotty barrier, 70.75. Congratulations. I think David is in there right now. What division is this? David, this is Weekend Warrior. Jesus. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's right. Oh, Go, my David gosh. Dalton. Yeah, he's, you're going to have quite a year, David. This is your year, buddy. So he, not only do you get first, but you also got the Hookup Baits prize package. Congratulations. All right. We're moving on to the pro division. Is David Dalton in there? He's always in there. What's up, David? All right, pro division. We had 24 anglers. This is a huge division. This is the, big, this is the biggest division? Jeez. Shore division's 19, but this one's 24. So 24 anglers fished this weekend in the pro division. Uh, coming in 24th place with 25 inches, we got Wyatt. Coming in 23rd with 41.5, we got Juan Delgado. Del Delgado. Coming in Delgado. Dang, I was so good at that one, too. 20, coming in 22nd place with 49.75, we got Drew Bassett. 
coming a coming in uh, 21st place, we got Che with 54 inches even. In 20th place with 63.75, Eric Klein. What's up, Eric? Yeah. <laughs> what are you up to, Eric? Uh, coming in 19th place with 64.25. He's busy selling his kayak. <laughs> <laughs> Did a short. Coming in 19th place with 64.25, we got Joshua coming in 18th place with 67.75. That's a huge score. Yeah. Dave Rage. Jeez, Let's Dave, go, I bet Dave. you got that. You wouldn't think you're going to 18th yeah. place. Dang. Man, the fishing's wow. getting good. Fishing's getting good. Coming in 17th place with 68, we got Jose Alvarez. Jeez, he scores 16th place with 68.25. We got Daryl Sanders. 15th place with 69.25. We got Kevin Canoy. <laughs> so 14th crazy. place with 69.5. We got Daniel Jones. 12th place. We got a tie for 12th place at 69.75 with Dale Shaw and Quentin Miller. What's going nice. on, Dale? Good see you, Quentin. Man, Dale, when you got that 69.5, did you think you were going to be in 12th? These dude, guys are so crazy. It, dude. All right. Everybody from 11th place and up has broken the spotty barrier. What? So, yeah, if you don't know what breaking a spotter barrier is, is catching a 70-inch bag, which is the equivalent of catching five legal fish, 514. That, that was an amazing weekend, guys, for fishing. Wow. It was. It was an amazing weekend. Was it a lot of fish or just, like, big ones? Ah, both. Nice. For me, both. Yeah. It was a... It was a fun. If yeah, if you're not out fit spotty fishing right now, get out there, it's man. It is, thousand, it is fun. It's time to catch a thousand spotties, guys. <laughs> I don't know about a thousand, but ten maybe days. twenty. Ten days. Huh? Just oh set. yeah, hundred a day for ten days. Easy, right. easy peasy. No problem. Twenty four hours a day, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> 16. Okay, coming in eleventh place. Jeez, Luke. With 70.25. Luke <laughs> coming in eleventh place with seventy two five. All right, we got a tie what? for ninth place. With 70.5, we got Derwin Chang, and we got Charlie Project Man, 70.5. That's so That's crazy. Right there. That's ninth place. All right, here we go. Playoff positions. Oh, my gosh. gosh. I'm going to try to get this right. With 70.75, we got Michael Solaronzo. Solorzano. <laughs> Michael Solorzano coming in. Was it eighth place? 70.75. Okay, with in seventh place with seventy one even, we got Thomas Warren. Congratulations, Thomas! And here we go, the most famous man in Spotty Bowl with in sixth place with seventy one point two five. Frank Santiago, let's go, Frank! Dude, that's like such a good bag. You, like when you get that, <laughs> so when you hit that number, you're probably thinking, "All right, I'll be like in the top three or something, right?" Rolling into the at the end of Spotty Bowl like, like a yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah. Chest chest pumped out, cruising up to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it caught some fish. All right, Damn. here we go. Father son combo. And in, tying for fourth place with 71.75, we got Jared and Cash Breck. What's going on? Oh, Both they tied? 1.75 tied. Wow. Congratulations. That's a huge bag, too. Those guys uh, fish LA and San Diego. So yes. props That's to cool. you guys for knowing how to fish these waters down here. Pulling a 71.75. Good job, guys. All right, top three. If you haven't heard your name, you are in the top three. Here we go. Some big scores coming out of this. Coming in third place, fishes shore division, and he fishes a pro division with 72.75. Let's go, Andy Cochran. Top three. Congratulations. Good job, Andy. Wow. Andy's a chop. You're going to win one this year. Watch. Okay, here we go. Top two. These two guys. Here we go. Coming in second place with 74 inches even, the one and only, let's go, Peter, 86. Second oh, pick. my gosh, Peter. So second. close. Dang. Bag, 74 inches, second place pro division. Jeez. Big bags. Big, big bags. Peter's too busy to pre-fish. He's got things to do. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> San Diego Bay, session four, pro division. First place, coming in with a huge bag of 75.75. We got Luke Heyman. Let's go, Luke. Congratulations. Uh, Luke has won big things, but, man, that is a big 75. Jeez, dude. 
6.75. That is over a 15 inch fish average. Yeah. Congratulations. That's a hard bag to get. Congratulations, Luke. That is an impressive bag right there. Let's go, Luke. Nice job, Luke. Jeez. And nice job, everybody that hit 70. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> The guys are, I mean, 70 wouldn't even get you in 70 doesn't place. even get you in 10th place. 70 got you a 11th place. Oh, sorry. Is that crazy? You guys are slaying. That's awesome. Short of vision even too. I, I mean, short of vision had like seven people getting 70. What a crazy, crazy weekend. All right, here we go. Masters division, San Diego Bay. If you're in the masters division, these are usually the guys that have fished a few tournaments before and consistently get above 70 inches. If you're in those pro division and you think you can step up the Masters next year, let's do it. Let's get this pro Masters division a little bigger. I mean, don't dude, quit, Peter. Great. Don't quit. I'm quitting second place, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, dude, you, you get seventy. Know. You get seventy four. You're like, heck yeah, this is in the bag. And then some comes out of nowhere with seventy five. Come on, <laughs> come on. Don't quit, Peter. Come on, buddy. You gotta oh make the playoff, God. Peter, with tag like that. Yeah, look at the judge says twenty five people hit the spotty bear this this session. Wow. That's that's Peter, a lot of big fish out there. It's awesome. Peter eighty six, you need to go down to the beach, get your groove on, meditate at your favorite spot, mm -hmm. get yourself focused, and then you know, get out there and slay it. You'll get there, Peter. Peter's slayer. You get there. All right. Dang, dude. Masters Division, San Diego Bay. We had, uh, it looks like 13 people participate in the Masters Division. A lot of big numbers in here. So, all right, here we go. 11th place with 65.25. We got Steve K uh, with an 11th place, with tied for 11th place with 65.25. We got Steven Gage well, even in 10th place yep. with 67. Point five. We got Eric, the judge layman. Eric, you beat he he beat his uh sh his shore session beat I his know. master session I boat know. session. That shows you, Andy. Judge judge got the shore down. All right, everybody else has broken a spotty barrier in the masters division. So top nine people oh, have shoot. broken a spotty barrier. Frank, Frank, Frank said he's turning in his hub jersey. Oh shoot! Oh no, oh, Frank! <laughs> Don't do it, Frank. You got this. Hey, we. <laughs> Frank's going to start his own it's, clothing. It's, it's demoralizing, dude, <laughs> shit. But you know what, guys? This is what makes you stronger, okay? You need a, you know inspirational motivation uh, song going on right here. But, you know, uh, yeah. what you do in life echoes in eternity. Spotty Bowl. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you get there. You get there, Frank. You're going to make the playoffs. You're going to go good. Frank, you need to do like me. You just need to find that lucky combination of clothing that, you know, just try a different pair of socks <laughs> next time or find a lucky penny. Peter or, said, you know, Peter said we'll hang out together, Frank. Oh, my God. I want to hang out with Frank. All right, let's get on with this here. These guys are waiting. Coming in ninth place with 70.5, we got Chuck. Congratulations, oh, Chuck. Let's Chuck go. just won the Fast Lane prize package, mm -hmm. so you're set, Chuck. All right, eighth place. So the top eight people, or that's where you want to be, trying to get a playoff position right here. So eighth place with 71.25. We got Danny Martinez. Let's go, Danny. Uh, in seventh place with 71.75, we got Michael Taylor. Congratulations. <laughs> First year in Masters. Doing awesome, 71.75. In sixth place with 72.25, we got the one and only Adobo Bruce. Congratulations, oh, Bruce. You see you, Bruce. Place. Let's go. Finally. Yeah. Bruce is one. Happy yeah, Bruce has been killing here, it. So. Let Bruce, that is a killer bag. 72.75. That is a killer bag. Yeah. Uh, coming in fifth place with 73 inches even. We got Daniel Martinez. Let's, Let's go, Daniel. Go. Nice bat. Fifth, fifth top place five. with 73, dude. Uh, we got a tie for third place. Oh, Benji in the, Benji's in the house. What up, Benji? MMFC uh, Arizona Bullhead chapter. What's up, Benji? Good to see you in here, Benny. Benji. Yeah, it's been a while, Benji. Good to see you. All right. So we got a tie for third place coming in with 73.5. We got the one and only, my friend Salty Dangler and oh. Dino Jigs Pow. Congratulations. That's a huge bag it's right tied. there. Third place. What, how, what was their back size? 73.5. Salty Dangler and Dino Jig Jig Pow have tied for third place. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. That's a nice bag right there. That's so good. Dang, dude. All right. It's, 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 it's awesome that you're getting. It's awesome that all of you guys are getting these huge bags yeah, in, huge in bags. half the time that that than we had in the original Spotty Bowl. Because the original Spotty Bowl, 
You could fish from like from like eight till eight, right? It was like oh, six a.m. to eight p.m. Yeah, six like, hours. Yeah, it was like sixteen hours. But you guys are getting bigger bags now that you're fishing less time. It's it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Good job, guys. Tony, I have PTSD from those old days, man. <laughs> that was a rough year because we were fishing every other weekend. Yeah, four hours a day. Oh my gosh, there's times when I would get on the a lot of times I'd get on the water. It's dark, and I didn't leave till it was dark. It was some, Jesus. But you know what? Those original OG spotty bowlers, man. We learned so much about those bays in that in those conditions. It was crazy, yeah. you know. Good times. All right, here we go. Top two masters, masters. These two guys head to head. I've been fishing against this guy for over a decade. This guy uh, brings out the competitive side of in me. I love fishing against this guy. Uh, it, 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 I'll, what else can I say? Coming in second place with 74.25, we got me, Ryan, like the fish, second place. I'll take you. And coming in first place with, with a huge bag, 75.75. He finally gets his win down here in San Diego. Let's give it up for Chad over at Hookup Baits. Congratulations, Chad. Got a huge bag. Wow. 75.75. Let's go, Chad. Congratulations. Chad, if you're watching, what's up? Congratulations <laughs> on that, Chad. Awesome. Man, the Masters Division came out swinging at the end there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I Dude. know. That is, that is crazy. So congratulations on that, Chad. Uh, I'm sure he's on the playoffs now. Dude, just the volume the of fish. Just, just the volume of fish, of big fish. It's awesome. It's awesome. I, it, it was... It, my fishing day was pretty good. I had a lot of fish. I actually ended up um, fishing from on vessel. I ended up with 15 legal fish. So I had five or three 70 inch plus bags, but there was a lot. It was it, to get to like a 75 inch bag. When you catch a 14, it's, you know, it's not an upgrade. You got to just, it's, it's a struggle to get oh, to those wow. big numbers. So these guys like Chad and like Luke Heyman are getting those. It's usually not five fish. It's a, it's a, bunch of legal fish constantly calling out to get the 75 inch bag so once you guys do get like five big fish don't like take it easy and be like ah you know i'm just gonna cruise fish hard your whole session and try to upgrade as you go every quarter inch every half inch every yeah. inch is gonna get you you can see how close it is fish hard through your whole session all right let's move on to pb shout outs guys i'm gonna go <laughs> ahead and go into my screen Dario, share. it's working Dario said all this fishing talk makes me want to actually fish <laughs> that's the whole point <laughs> darn <laughs> Dario is uh Dario you guys took, Dario, Dario Dario took this year off, playoffs. guys. I think Dario's made the playoffs every single yeah. year. And Dario it's also, I think, has caught a 78-inch bag or 77-inch right. bag. Something so he's crazy like that. Yeah. Dario's done a lot in Spotty Bowl. I think, yeah, he's made the I think I've fished against Dario in the playoffs at least twice. Always intimidated. All righty. So All right. well, Brian gets his slideshow ready. I'm gonna ask you once again to hit that like button on the hit that like button, boys. Let's go. And uh, we're going to do, what do we do next? PB shoutouts? PB shoutouts, please. All right. Here we go. Queuing up the sound. We've seen you out on the water. They say you're fishing harder. I guess we'll find out this week on our PB shoutouts. All right, let's go. If you don't know who that is up front, that is Cal Double Fist. And if you want to be on PV shoutouts, direct message me, Brian Likes a Fish, <laughs> on Discord or Instagram. Send me a picture of anything. Not you, Peter86, but everybody else can send me a picture of anything, and I will put that on <laughs> PV shoutouts. Send it to me with a story I can read, too. That I would appreciate that. So here we go. First up. I think I'm on paper here. I'm all besmirched. <laughs> uh, okay, I mentioned earlier today that there is a San Diego Anglers Bass Club is doing their uh, spring open bass tournament. Here's some information on that. It's April 6, 2024. Chad wanted me to share this with you guys. I, I was a member of uh, San Diego Anglers a long time ago. Uh, check them out. It's a cool club. They used to meet every Wednesday. I had a guest speaker over there. First time I ever met one cool tuna, Jeff, was at uh, oh, one of these events. He was a speaker. It was probably where, 10 years ago. Where do, people go, if, where do people go if they're interested in signing up? Uh, just Google San Diego Anglers and uh, go to their webpage. I'm not sure all the specifics cool. on this yet. Okay. If, you, if you guys pause and zoom in on the bottom, there's some information down on here on who to contact if you have questions about it. But they have a boat division, kayak division, 1500 bucks. it looks like, for boat division. And, and, it's, and, and it's limited spots too, right? 
limited spots. I think I saw Frank type in earlier. There are 10, 10 kayak spots left. Yep. So, so you, if you're interested in fishing that, check it out. April 6th. And, and it's, it's, it's all bass, right? Yep. Cool. All bass. I don't know the details of it yet. If, maybe the weekend before I'll know more details, but I'm not sure. The Wait, did it. you go there? No. Okay. So Jared sent me this like last minute. Him and Cash went to the Grand Open. <laughs> That's left. cool. They opened a bass pro shop in Irvine this week on when Latin was it last Wednesday, I think, or last no. Was it today? I think it might have been today. Uh, Bass cool. Pro Shop opened in Irvine, so it looks like it was a packed house right there. Jared and <laughs> Cash, I'm assuming, went to go check it out. Were there any good deals up there, Jared? But guess what? We got a Bass Pro Shop up in OCLA, which is pretty awesome. If you've never been to that place, it's just like a, you know, bring your wallet. It's like a whole day. I don't know. Do they have a restaurant in that one, too? But, yeah, check it out. Bass Pro Shop opened up there. We need to do a road trip, up. dude. We need to do a road trip as a group and just go chill out there for the whole day. Yeah, I'm down for that for sure. I'll go up there all the time. I'll be going up there this week for Spotty Bowl. Oh, double bass. Uh, so if you, you don't know who that is right there, that is Brett Wilson, certified slayer, throwing out the 79.7, 79.75-inch bag last week from his float oh, tube up yeah. there at Alamitos Bay. Oh, so uh, cool. If you guys watch a uh, YouTube channel uh, called uh, on the, Time on the Water, um, he was on it this week. I watched it with it. And uh, check that out if you want to hear Brett talk about his fishing cool dude fishy dude one of the fishiest dudes i know he's gonna be he's, he's gonna be a contender up there in la this year anyway that's brett wilson and uh, his wife amanda he said here's a picture oh, i'm sorry fiance here's a picture of me and my fiance and uh two years ago we went to lake nasi m into nice that was good that's good brian thank you that's a tough one uh catching some uh, spotted bass from our float tubes one of the many reasons i put a ring on it i guess she fishes float tubes <laughs> Well, congratulations finding a That's fiance awesome. that'll fish in a float tube. That's awesome. Uh, always down to hop on the tube and do some fishing. But we'll be heading back up that way this weekend, looking forward to getting away from the city and engage with the outdoors. We both love that. Cheers. Yeah, so do Very I. Cool. That's awesome. Well, have a great time up there. Hopefully the weather will be good for you up there. Slaying there. And he also says, guess what? Amanda. She can even slay spotties in the bay, too. How did I get so lucky with this one? Well, congratulations huh? on your, that's definitely your PB, Brett. That's an awesome picture right <laughs> there. Cool. Very nice. Okay, next up. Bam! We got this guy. Nice hat, dude. Look oh, at that cool. boat he's fishing from, too. If you don't know who that is, that is Matt. He is a big bass 619. Uh, Matt's fishing out of that Nitro Z19 bass boat. So if you see that out there, that's Matt right there. That's a nice boat for the bay. Dang. That's awesome. Hell uh, he says, uh, I'm guessing, oh, let me switch to the next picture. Wait, is that a saltwater bass boat? It could be. Why not? Any boat. They yeah. don't really make like a boat specific yeah, yeah. for you know, saltwater. All the boats, cool. you know, whatever. It'll go in there. I think I'll take my bass boat in there. Uh, he says, I'm guessing yeah. uh, PB on artificial lure right here. He says, uh, back bay flats and SD bay, six to eight feet in the eelgrass right off the back of the boat. He said, his trusty Alba Garcia Ike Finesse medium rod, 7.7 7 foot 2 inch, Ike Series 30 spinning reel, 30 pound uh, power pro braid, 15 pound Seaguar, a ribbed hammer swim bait, and a cool bait. Bam, is that custom painted? I don't know that color unless the paint's worn off. That's pretty, pretty, pretty cool there, Matt. Uh, he says he thought it was a giant spotty, but no, just a few fish tacos. Nice. <laughs> Uh, Friday so evening session, you never know what you're going to get out of that back bay. That is so true. Cheers. So congratulations, Matt. Looks like you got how many tacos do you think that thing made? Jeez, a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. 20, it's, 30, like 20, four, it's like four inch. filets, dude. What a filet is like, what, half the size of a hand is a taco. Looks like about a five-hander, maybe. So maybe Yeah, but, then there's, but then there's four filets. There's two filets on each side. The thing is, halibut are so good. Ten taco? If you're At making least, tacos? Maybe more. Yeah, more than that. Maybe 10, ten tacos on one side. Probably 10 nice halibut sandwiches, there, though. Next up, look at this guy. Come on. Yeah. There's the dog food drone, Zach. Guess what he got? That's awesome. Finally came after eight months. He got his spotty license plate. That's How a good that? one. Oh. <laughs> he sent me this picture, and I am so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I I cannot believe that was not taken. That's How so that not good. Taken? That's awesome, Zach. So, Zach, if you see a guy out there sporting a spotty license plate, that is DDD Zach. 
<laughs> supporting that. That is awesome, Zach. Took him eight months to get it. Worth it. Totally, totally worth it. it. Yeah. Want to sell it, Zach? <laughs> Dude, you, got, you better put some. You better change those screws to the other ones, the the, the anti theft ones. Otherwise, Brian's gonna be out there with a screwdriver. <laughs> what else could I come? I'll just do spotty. I don't know. That's awesome. Spotties. Uh, that is Zach. And it's, and and it's like California spotties. That's even better. That is awesome. And it's a black license plate. Yeah. That's cool. Looks That's like he's cruising his Jeep Liberty. Very That's cool. cool. And next up, we got this guy. That is, if you don't know who that is, that is Daryl. That is Super Skiff 760. He so says, cool. thank you, Brian, for everything. This is my first big tournament, and I will say it is one of the best ones I have ever done. He wants to thank everybody, Judge, Roman, me. Thank you guys again. Can't wait to fish the next round because it's going to be on my birthday. Oh, Whoops. that's so cool. Happy birthday. Thank you for the nice words. You know, Mainly thank that judge over there for putting this together and putting together such a great tournament. Uh, congratulations on that nice fish right there, too, catching a halibut. Oh, nice. nice job. But somebody's gonna have a slimy chest though that's all i gotta say <laughs> it's <laughs> worth it when you when like a halibut flops around on the deck your kayak or boat they leave like a slug trail dude <laughs> not as bad as like a like as like a barracuda dude not smelly like that yeah. but dude it can be pretty it smells like it smells like halibut sandwiches to me daryl if you're in there did you watch that sweater or is that like your lucky sweater now it's got <laughs> halibut, <laughs> halibut stink on it <laughs> Okay, next up, boom! Look at this. Somebody in the club's got a new fishing rack. Oh, <laughs> Fish yeah. Is that a kayak? Would that be considered a kayak? It's like a pontoon, right? Pontoon. All right. So, uh, Aaron Black. Oh, Aaron. What am I saying? Carl Black. Come on, Carl. <laughs> Carl Black said, "I have to sell my 19-foot boat because I'm losing my free storage spot." Oh. Dang. Had to get something to fish Spotty Bowl in. So guess what he did? Cruised on down to the Bass Pro Shop, got himself a 2024 Bass Pro Shop Pond Prowler 10E. Oh, Never let's go. It. it looks pretty it stable, looks dude. Pretty yeah. Uh, he said, I got it on sale with my Bass Pro Shop club card. Yes. Added a 55-pound Newport Vessel saltwater trolling motor up front, and it's also powered by a Power Queen 12.8 100 milliamp lithium battery. And on the back of this thing, he's got a two horsepower Yamaha outboard. <laughs> Carl, he's cruising. Dude. Carl, but what did you call this vessel? Yeah, the, the Bay Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like that name. I like it. What'd you call this vessel, Carl? Let us know because if not, we're gonna name it for you right now. Yeah, what, maybe we should do a poll. What yeah, should we, we should. Yeah. <laughs> in chat, what do you guys think? We Carl should name his uh, is what is this called? The the Pond Prowler. Pond Prowler. Uh, you, said, you said something queen, didn't you? That's the name of the battery. Oh. <laughs> it's the Power Queen 12.8 volt <laughs> lithium battery. Power Queen. He says he hopes to have it ready for Spotty Bowl. The, the Pond uh, Pond Queen or the Qu Prowler Queen? <laughs> Prowler Queen. That's what you want to be called, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> the, better than the Pond Queen. Uh, if Carl says, if anybody sees him out there in this craft, say hi, hi to me. And he says, he has a little tip for you guys, too. He says, I was able to reg th Good register night, this. With What's up, Dario? Later. He says, I was able to register this with the California DMV. It's officially titled a boat oh. with registration. My tip, the t boat tip registration 101 form, he says, be sure to check the other box for the power type. If you select... The DM, if you select gas, the DMV needs some kind of emissions tag that the boat doesn't come with, or at least I didn't get it from Bass Pro Shop. So make sure you guys click other. Pro tip. Interesting. So there you go, Carl Black. I'll see you out there on the water. Bam, here we go. This guy right here. If you don't oh, know who that is, cool. he's really good and spotable. And that is Steve Chum Solo Catch Dorian. I got it. I think that's awesome. So Steve, what's up, Steve? If you don't, he's this is not his PB, but I said, hey, send, if you send me a picture, guys, send me a picture of you holding a fish too. Where not is just that? Fish. That right there is a snook. Yeah, but where? Where is he fishing? In Costa Rica. That's so cool. Five pound snook in Costa Rica. Are you on a? Is he on a kayak? He's on like a Hobie. A he's on a Hobie PA. Yeah, it might be, it might be like a like a tandem. It's How many it's big. beers does that hold? I know. It's having a good. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
is going on? Out there, You're more Steve? impressed by the cooler than the fish. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen like a 32 quart cooler back there. Heck yeah, it's a lot of. It's humid out there. Hey, you're in Mexico, right? <laughs> yeah, it's Mexico. Humid. What are you talking about? <laughs> Costa Rica. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Uh, 35 pound snook, but that is not his PB shout out. But like I was saying, if you guys send in a PB shout out picture of a fish, make sure that you send in a picture yourself too to share. All right, here's what he sent in though. He says, uh, yeah. got this killer Sandy. I was so focused on my trifecta. He was going for the trifecta side pot. It slipped my mind of the biggest Sandy side pot. Yeah, you gotta. Oh, almost yeah. Like you need to, Dang it. It's almost like, you know, you need like a cheat sheet. Like you write down biggest Sandy, whatever it is, 17.5, I think, by uh, Daniel Jones, maybe. Just keep a little cheat sheet. Uh, uh, I was unable to capitalize because I dumped two calicos overboard to, and blew the pick of the legal because I was so fired up. Dang. I love this style of tournament fishing. I have to. Uh, think so much of, about position, tide, yeah. wind, current. You're posting all these little pictures online. He <laughs> says, I love this intense, uh, intense fishing. It is freaking addicting. Yes. I know <laughs> awesome. the feeling. I know the feeling. I'm glad a lot of us spotty bowlers are really enjoying this. So nice job on the sand bass. Looks like you got it on a legit A rig. There you go. What is that thing? 21 something. Damn. That's a big boy that's right cool. there. Damn. All right. Get ready. Oh, you've got. Huh. A Cast. If you don't know what cut or cast is, Roman's going to put up a poll on this, and we're going to vote if it, it's cut or cast. Cut or cast. Cut or cast. So you explain <laughs> how it works. You can you can send tips or or things you do about rigging, fishing techniques, or anything that you come up with or you've heard about, and the so, audience gets to decide if we cut it or cast it. Okay, I'm going to tell you what it is. It okay. is a case to hold slow pitch jigs. Should we, should we, be, on the be, should we be on the screen now? Slow pitch jigs. All right, here okay. we go. Okay. This is sent in by Down and SD Roy. Thank you for sending in your second cut or cast. He says, bam, here we go. He says, cut or cast. Needed a way to store my slow pitch jigs and saw something at the PCS but didn't buy it. Oh, Went home, found nice. some foam that would do the same thing. Cut the foam to fit my box, which is this box right here. Give me a second. Bam. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Don't, don't change the scene. Okay. There we go. Okay, go ahead. From the beginning for the pictures, I mean. Cool. He, he cut the foam to fit this box right here and then cut slits. And I'm going to show you the foam again. Into his foam. And then inside of those slits, bam, you've got yourself a slow pitch jig box holding them from getting scratched all the hooks getting tangled um, and he says you have an instant slow pitch jig storage box that to me looks legit i'm gonna vote on that so Pretty if you cool. think it's cast you would do it if you think it's a cut you wouldn't do it so vote cut or cast cut or cast cut or cast all right voting so we'll is open a, we'll give it a little bit of time here to see what the, the comes in at but if you have something for cut or cast something you made or something you do while That's fishing really cool. or whatever send it in and we'll put it on pb shout outs and you'll be on cut or cast all right looks like we've got what 653 votes so far that's pretty good so we'll give it a few seconds yeah it looks pretty pretty good too that is like a good idea i like that easy. idea you know, if you're only like storing, he's got a lot of them in there, but if you're only taking like five, you could really space them apart so the hooks don't touch, you know? I like that. Keeps them from getting scratched, easy to access. Yeah, Looks like he's got some submission fishing code jigs. You could, you in could there. probably even get it, you probably even sneak in some more slots in there, like get them a little bit closer together because they're really thin. Yeah, but how many slow pitch jigs do you need to bring, you know? Usually you know, all of them, Brian. Know, all of them. Back, you remember back in the day when Cal used to go to all the stores and yeah. buy all the slow pitch jigs? We'd yeah. like, we'd all want to. This is before Submission Fishing Co. and Reaper, and we were like trying to get slow pitch jigs. That's so funny. And Cal would go around, <laughs> and he would show it off on Discord of his huge, huge jewelry box a full stockpile. of slow pitch jigs. Like stock. Cal. Everybody was, everybody was trying to buy toilet paper, and Cal was just buying slow pitch jigs. <laughs> the market yeah for sure all right so the votes are in let's all see right. what was the results this, here here we go votes. final results are this is a cast all right 81 percent. yeah it's a good idea uh salty dangler says those 
3600 B boxes are only like $10. Oh, right yeah. Then? All right. Very cool. Uh, and the foam is just, what is that foam? It's just like a, like a. It's like regular foam. Stuff that you get shipped to Amazon, you know? Yeah. Or like you probably buy the, buy like the, the sheets at like Home Depot or something. Like a, like right, arts and crafts store. Here. Next cutter cast. Bam. If you don't know who that is, that is Eric, the judge. Nice hat, Eric. And uh, he's right there. He's with Danny. What's up? Uh-huh. Fishing shore division together. Eric. All right, guys, buckle up because I've got a story to read. This is when Eric sends in something, you know, I'd say whatever, send in whatever you like. I'm going to read it all. Okay, so he says, uh, uh, Eric was sent this message. He says, hey, Eric, we live in Mission Bay, and I noticed a series is called Spotty Bowl. I was wondering if I could sign up my 12-year-old stepson, even if he can only make the last few sessions. Something we'd, Something we love is to fish Mission Bay here almost every single day and have been looking for something like this for him to do. And he says, while he was out, he met a guy named Corey. I'm a Sorman Corey King. And gave us the info and filled us in about Spotty Bowl. So we signed up. Okay. Oh, awesome. So that's awesome. Welcome to the club. Thank you, Danny, for enjo- and coming in. Um, and then Eric says, writes me this. He says, uh, he comes out Friday morning to the Spotty Bowl, session four. I get up early and drive down to the dock. The dock is still dark. And I see Tony and Brady standing down there at 6 a.m. ready to fish. Judge, you got to be there before 6. You got to be ready to cast at 6. Uh, as the day starts again, and just small talk between us, then Brady catches his first fish, 13.75. Congratulations. Wow, nice fish, which he could have had 14 if he would have worked the tail a little on the bump or Well, Judge, you're there to help him out with that. Uh, he caught uh, that one on his new bait caster reel that his grandpa just bought him from Arizona. Uh, he catches another fish after that, 12.5, and then he says to Eric, I'm beating you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Nice, Brady. <laughs> Talking smack, first round, first two fish. <laughs> Eric, okay, Eric, spot Eric's You're so competitive, right too. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to fit right in. And, and judge says, oh, Brady, you're messing with the bull. <laughs> you're going to get the horns. And you threw him in the water? And then he said that quote just came to his mind, but he didn't That's say anything. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. And he said, Judge then all of a sudden kicked into high gear, and he says, I'm going to switch to the A-rig. I proceeded to catch one fish. Two fish, three fish. Oh my God. <laughs> he's know. like ducking on the. Can I say something like, not in the lead anymore, huh, Brady? <laughs> <laughs> Talk smack. Nothing like talking smack to a 12 year old judge. <laughs> oh uh, right at high tide, I told them both not to expect too much fish <laughs> until the tide starts moving again. And then Brady says to, uh, it is, uh, Brady says he wants an A rig now. We oh, there you about go. It, and I would recommend that he put braid on his lines. I think Eric may have given him an A-rig. I don't know. Got, he That's got cool. an A-rig out, and Eric recommended that he put braid on his setup. And uh, he put also on his A-rig, he put some dart spins on there. So at the time, oh, cool. Brady moves to a new spot of the dock and takes a cast, and I walk behind him, and I cast right over his lure. <laughs> he just looks at me. We both start reeling in, and I catch number four. Oh, my gosh. And it was just a great way to rub it in. So Tony (laughs) and Brady quickly left the dock and headed over to Dana to get some new line for his reel, some new braid, I'm guessing, so he can cast his A-rig. Oh, that's so So funny. While they were gone away, I get a wind knot and cast my A-rig off into the sunset. Oh. (laughs) We've all had that. The cast, wind knot, boom, there goes the A-rig. But he casted it near the the shore. They returned in a little bit. I tied the A-rig on for Brady for him. And, uh, since they were back, I got I got to go, and I was going to go try to retrieve my A-rig. And Eric says, I found it in waist-deep water and retrieved it. Eric, oh you wait in that water at 6 a.m. or in the morning? <laughs> hey, A-rigs aren't cheap. They don't grow on trees, oh, you know. Geez. And I retrieved it. Then I hear Brady yelling that he caught a fish while I'm retrieving the A-rig. <laughs> Uh, then he said while he was bringing it in, he thought he had a big smelt, which I believe because I've caught a big smelt there before. Once he got it to the dock, though, he noticed it had a bunch of teeth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is right there. So I think oh. you realize, hey, pro move right there, holding the barracuda with a rag. Yep, yep. Pro move. They don't want that stink on there. That's, That's too so good. Uh, he says, I don't think I've ever thank- been thanked so much by somebody 
uh, as Brady kept thanking me. He is a uh-huh. great young lad. Big smiles. Then to the top of the little... Then, then to top it off, the little twerp catches a 16-inch spotty to Let's... finish off his day. Let's go, Brady! 16-inch <laughs> spotty in front of the judge. Taking it. Nice. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I would also like to thank Tony for taking the time to bring Brady to sit there for hours while Brady fishes. I just want to say it was an honor to fish with you, Brady. The joking around, hearing and seeing that big truck run over a boat trailer and popping all his tires. What? Jeez. Your family coming over to watch you, your family and friends playing, uh, your younger brothers trying to impress those college girls with their big potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> what that means that's awesome uh until you had to we be there again, brian until we do it again the judge he says thank you brady and his his 16 inch uh spotty will be on spotty bowl biggins well welcome nice. to the club brady that's a great story that's there so judge. Cool. thank you judge for taking brady out and there is brady the stepdad let's go fishing an a-rig catching a 16 incher nice so good so, welcome to spotty bowl our youngest contender right now all right, next up. You ready? I'm losing my voice. I went to Lake Sutherland this weekend. For you freshwater guys, let me just tell you, I was excited for Lake Sutherland because I love that lake, but water level, there's my son right there, water levels are low. It's not ready yet, so if you're planning a Lake Sutherland trip, there it is from the shoreline. Dang. All I got to say is water levels are low, and it's still cold, so let's hold off on Sutherland for probably a couple more months till they let that thing fill up. I, I, from what I've heard, they're filling up like lower lakes, like San Vicente Lake, with the water coming into this lake. So I, maybe once San Vicente fills, this one will fill. I don't know. Sutherland is low. Next up, thank you, Todd, for making this sign. Oh, okay. If you go to Roman Shop Cast, Roman <laughs> Castro Shop blog, he's got some new pins there. Uh, no, I don't. So if you want to get one of these pins, Roman's uh, big into I support sea Bri- lions. Brian's, so tra- Bri- Brian's trying to get banned. <laughs> Oh, oh you forgot. You forgot I have this out control of the screen. Checkmate, Brian. Checkmate. Uh, no. Don't cut me off. We haven't had the big <laughs> go to Roman Castro shop and get your I support sea lines pin. <laughs> what do they sell for? 49 bucks? Yeah. A limited edition, right? No, no. I don't support sea lines. I support I'm Team Orca. Team Orca? Team Orca. I'm, I'm team Orca. How many people are Team Sea Line? How many people are Team Orca? <laughs> All right, uh, let's get on with this. Are you ready for Spotty Bowl Biggins? All nice. right. Good hey, satisfying got a splash. 15 inches in the last session, I'll automatically put in here. Let's see what kind of spies we're caught here. Bam, we got Michael Taylor, single 15. Skinny fish, but nice. 15 inch, good fish. Got that long wisp on the end. That's always a bonus when you get that. Make sure when you guys measure it, if it has that wisp, is that what you call that? That's what I call that. That wisp on its tail right there. Make sure you stretch her out long. Get that extra tail. half inch out of that thing. Here we go. He's got. He's in 14.2 feet of water. He's got a side scan. He's got a down scan going. Hmm. If I had a guess where he's at. I'd say San Diego Bay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Bryce in here. 15 incher. Nice fish right there. Looks like a good fish. You know, I notice a lot of these 15 inches have this patch on them. I wonder what that's from. Oh, yeah. Like, when you go through it, watch. A lot of them have that weird patch up there. It's just part of them. I don't know. Probably the Derwin Chang fishing at night, 15 incher. Look at that light. Dang, Derwin. Wow. Are you doing a live broadcast on the KSI wow. or something? That's a light, serious light right there. Nice one. Uh, We got Julian with a 15 inch. Nice it's picture right it's there. No, oh, I'm sorry, Juan. <laughs> we got Jared, 15 inch. Looks like he got it on. Is that a submission fish? That was like a Reaper slow pitch jig right there. 15 inch. Man, so close to 15.25. Eric the Judge. Yes, that is a 15 inch fish. It looks like a nine inch fish, but you know when you got a hand like that. Eric, is that wedding ring? Can you take that off? Oh, yeah. Jeez, <laughs> there is no way. That thing's on there for life. <laughs> oh my gosh! You're gonna need a you're gonna need a a stick of butter to get that go, thing off. You're gonna need to go to the to the to the what's it called to the fire department. 
Have you ever seen uh, Lord of the Rings when like uh, Saruman's ring falls off and it's like enormous and it shrinks down? You need to get that Saruman ring from Lord <laughs> of the Rings, Eric. You need to get the thing refitted. Yeah, for sure. So they're going to affect right. the circulation. Daniel Martinez, nice fish, 15.25. Got his foul weather gear on. Oh, that's a good, that's a cool, that's a good looking Danny fish. Danny Martinez. That's a good looks looking like fish. It looks like he's fishing from his uh, yak, not a jet ski, 15.25. You know what that is right there? Yeah, Bixby. Yeah, cruising around with power. Uh, Ralph, wreck it, Ralph Rodriguez, 15.25. Nice fish. That's see right there. That's a fat one. Cause look how it's wider than that bump board. Mm -hmm. See how its back is arched over it. That's like a two pounder right there. David Dalton, winner of the weekend Warriors. Congratulations, David. Fifteen point five. Quentin Miller, fifteen. A lot of big ones, Scott. Fifteen point five. I like the card. Got his name on it. Quentin Miller, right there. That's a good one. Custom. Michael. 15.5. Solarzano. <laughs> waiting for you. <laughs> That's a good one. I like the way he, I like the way I like the way he re, he did his lines on his on his bump board. Very nice job. Nice. Look at Peter's bump board too. It's Very good, yeah. ideal yeah. bump board. Yeah. Yeah. Peter A6. Using his finger to close its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Dino Jig Jig Pow 15.5. Yak Ninja's coming in. Nice. A lot of them. I got to get going here. Charlie, Project Man, 15.75. Where are the lucky pants at, Charlie? That's the first time I've ever seen him. I'm surprised his foul weather gear on. Normally has those ripped, you know, jeans on. Andy Cochran, 15.75. Procure. There's your secret, guys. He's blowing it up. Brady, okay, this is an actual man's hand right here. This is like a normal hand, and there's the judge's hand. Like, this is the size. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I'm just telling you. <laughs> 16 inches even. Got the wisp going. Yeah. That's Alex awesome. Norton, 1625. Alex, your fish is filthy. Oh, my gosh. That's like it's like breaded spotty. <laughs> what they call nice chicken, chicken fried spotty? It's that right there. I don't know. It's Peter Quite. on that beach. <laughs> All right. Uh, salty Dangler, 15 and a 15. Dang, Salty. Two big ones. Let's see what we can see here. Got his Gamagatsu boxes. And no information <laughs> on that one. Luke, 15 to 5, 15 even. Nice. Got the of glove on. That's always positive. Is it do some welding while you're fishing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Spotty's. I don't blame you. Yeah, Luke. Spotty's are tough. Chuck. Winning the fast lane pride. Look at this bag. 16, 5, 15, 5, 15. <laughs> nice, cool. Chuck. Yeah, it's awesome. Although I have to critique here a little. Chuck, you need to get your sharp A out and uh, black in oh, those yeah. lines. Make it easy on this judge. Luke, man, another 15, 16, 2, 5, 15, 2, 5. Fishing from a boat with carpet. There's his jig right there. Look at your standard jig head with just a swim bait. Man. Basic stuff, catch fish. Chad, 15, 15, 5, 15, 2, 4 biggins. Dang, Chad. Mm -hmm. Fishy's hand to warn, too. Me and him are competing for Fishy's Chad. I think Jared Fretch might also be in the Fishy's hands, too. He's up there. All caught on hookup baits, looks like. Brian likes to fish. Let's see what we got here, Roman. 16, 2, 5, 15, 7, 5, 15, 2, 5, 15, 15, 15. Wow. wow. Fishy's hand award going right here. Look at that. <laughs> And big fish of the tournament is Chuck. Let's go, Chuck. Big fish. Congratulations on that. Chuck catching the biggest fish at a 16.5. And with that, Roman, I'm going to exit my screen wow. share. Congratulations, Chuck. Having an amazing round right there. Oh. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations to everybody. 839. I competed. Yeah. Congratulations to everybody. Uh, you guys up in L.A., I think we might have a little bit of weather. Us in San Diego, it seems like every spotty bowl we're having a little weather. But these weather people can be wrong. Let's hope uh, you guys, everybody has a nice Easter weekend this weekend. Spend some time with your family. Do some fun stuff right there. Micro wrestling. Some of us might be there. And some of us might be ready to get down 
and party. Because guess what, Roman? Man, this is going to be a big game. Oh, that's a, you got to check the whole thing? Oh, man. That's like, how many ounces is that? Th- this weekend, I will be up in Newport fishing Spotty Bowl. So let's get ready to party, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Shotgun, a whole liquid death. Here we go. I will be. Oh, nice job. Bass, catching bass. I will see you guys up in Newport. Let's go. All right. Take it, Brian, out with a round of applause for live studio audience. Thanks, Brian. Wow. Good chugging right there. That was good. That was good. That was impressive. And like, you chugged that one faster than you chugged the regular cans. So, nice job. Uh, well, shout outs. Thank you to everybody for tuning in today. Leonard, uh, Salty, thanks for helping me mod today. Nice job. Uh, Oliver Oliver ST Fishing, thanks for tuning in. Dog Dude Drone, Eric the Judge Lehman, of course, and uh, Brian, you guys are awesome. Thanks for helping make the show awesome. TB Metal Art in the house, TB Art, exclamation point TB Art in the chat. Uh, OCT, I don't think, I don't think Jeff is in here today, but still, shout out to One Cool Tuna, shout out to all of our sponsors. Uh, amazing, amazing. JD Hutchings, I got uh, Corey King, Ralph Aguirre. Garrett G, Dog, I already got Dr. Drone, uh, Dallin SD, Roy, Sammy Prum, Carl Black in the house, Carl's back, let's go Carl, get it, <laughs> uh, let's see, I got Corey King, I already got uh, Dave Rage, Dario, I know Dario's already in bed, but shout out, shout out to Dario anyway, Natty Knight, <laughs> I got, let's see what else I got in here, I got Aaron Etiquette, Etiquette, Eddie Cox, that's right. And Ken, Fishing Fool in the house. What up, Ken? Thanks for tuning in today. Billy Little. Uh, Frank Santiago, the Frank himself. Peter86. Eric Klein. Uh, who else I got in here? I got uh, Dale Shaw. I'm trying to read as fast as I can. Let's see. Well, so Spotty at best. Alex Norton in the house. And... I think I got most of you guys. Captain Dan and Arnie, if you're still watching, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you guys soon. All right. We'll be back here next week on Wednesday for another results show. But until then, may the bite be with you. Woo! I feel like I'm falling asleep, dude. I'm so tired. Yes! Get the breath.